What's up, guys and gals? Goliath here at Garza Comic Festival. I am here with Darren Auk. Yeah, he rocks it. His guy has done so much. All right, not only has he worked for the Joe Kubert School of Drawing, he actually has worked with Ren Stimpy, Nickelodeon. He's worked with so, I mean, you look at the backdrop. He's got all these awesome comic books, and he's got an amazing table spread in front of us. It is, it's a privilege to be here with him today. So I got to ask, what was one of the high points of not only working with the Joe Kubert School, but the people you've met, the cartoons you've got to draw and be a part of? Like, tell us more about that. Uh, I... I've been fortunate. Um, I've had great mentors, great teachers, uh, great co-workers. I would say starting in the Marvel bullpen in 1990, uh, that was back when we did lettering, titles, corrections by hand. But to get that job uh, working for Virginia Ramita and just meeting the editors, and that was, you know, my, my pinky toe in the door. That was that was amazing because I was always a Marvel kid. Um, I did the um, John Buscema back in the 70s had a workshop at the uh, I believe it was at the Biltmore Hotel, and him, John, and Don Heck, and Stan Lee would even stop in sometimes. Yeah, I I had a heart attack. I died, and they had to resuscitate me. But. Um, you know, I learned from those guys. That was a class when I was like 14. Um, I was lucky with my folks' support and um, teachers. Uh, I went to the Kubert School shortly after high school in 1980. That was my first year there. And that's where I met so many people who are like my family today. Um, we were very lucky because back then uh, Joe taught pretty much all three years. He had to cut it back later on because of his, uh, you know, just running the show and um, his graphic novel responsibilities. But uh, I've been teaching at the Kubert School. Uh, when I got done as a Marvel editor in 2000, um, it kind of caught me off guard. Joe called me up. He's like, you want to teach at the school? You know, I'm like, what, am I going to say no to this guy? You know. But um, when I was working for Marvel, I would go and review the third-year portfolios and try to get those uh, graduates' work. So, um, you know what? As a creator, just you got to network. You got to talk to everybody. You got to create these families, these organizations. I was never the best with that, but... Um, the, the whole Kubert connection, which is where we started with this, right? Yeah, Joe, Kubert, Joe Kubert School. <laughs> um, that's, that's my network, you know, and those are, that's my family. Those are my friends. Now we got the Mandrakes, uh, Jan Dursima, Kim. You know, it's it's a huge, it's a it's a big, huge family type of thing. Now, you said Kim. That wouldn't be uh, Kim uh, LePere, would it? No, Kim DeMolder. Yeah. I, I know Kim, the, I believe he was one of the uh, original students when Joe and Muriel got the program started. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, I got to say, because we've been looking at all your work. You've got, you know, Red and Stimpy over here. You've got the Marvel. You've got all your awesome work you've drawn. You were gonna, I saw you drawing some Rocco's Modern Life yesterday for people, for like a friend. Uh, what are, like, out of all the projects you've worked on ever, what were three that you will never, ever forget working on? Like three that really just spoke to you deeply. That's, that's, a, that's a good question. It's a tough one. I would say um, I learned a lot. Um, working when Marvel was working with Nickelodeon and we were doing the Ren and Stimpy and the Rocco and it's still obviously a part of my setup because uh, fans are still there and they're introducing their kids to the and I still like drawing them so I don't care I mean I like doing the mashups but um, working on that was really good um, one of the things is when I was an assistant art director at Marvel, my boss was John Romita Sr., um, best guy in the world. And uh, one day, you know, he had his office, I had my office, and he comes up to me the one day and he goes, um, I got to draw a cover for like a collection of, I think it was Marvel Team Up, you know. And uh, I had done cover sketches for, you know, that was part of the gig. But John's like, 
I need you to do this cover sketch for me. And I'm looking around like... The head boss came to you and went, oh, m- well, me? <laughs> I mean, it, John Ramey Sr., you know? And I'm looking at him like, I, you know, I, I didn't say it, but I'm like, I didn't realize you pulled pranks like this. Like, you know, you know I didn't say it, but but he was serious. And he goes, um, no, he goes, and I understand this, and it's something that I share with others. It's like, he told me, no, seriously, he goes, I do want you to do this. And um, he goes, if you give me a layout, I won't keep messing with it and overthinking it and working on it. I'll just jump on the pencils, because obviously it was a tight deadline for this reprint package. So uh, that was that was amazing, you know, to, to, to do a cover sketch and then have Rami to do it, you know, that was amazing. Um, but I've done all kinds of interesting things, like I um, artwork for ACDC, uh, working in the Marvel bullpen, you know, like I said, uh, especially starting and meeting everybody, um, traveling for Marvel, you know, doing conventions. Uh, we had a blast, man. We were part of um, the Marvel bullpen back when it was just a bunch of dirty freaks. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> that was back when we were still, before things became digital, and I don't mean to sound like an old curmudgeon, but... Um, you know, everybody had a drawing board. Uh, we were inking. We were, you know, it, it, it was kind of old school. And um, I was lucky enough to work for the company and meet the guys and the women. I became friends with Flo Steinberg. I mean, you know, it again, it, it, it almost... I'm, I'm an artist. I want to do creative things. I want to try different things. Uh, but there's a sense of family. There's a group, like, you know, just like this show here, like, you know, Garden State Comic Fest. You know, I work with most of these people at the school or, you know, wherever. And um, it's, that's what it's all about. But <laughs> we accept her. Okay. <laughs> And you guys, you can see, like, I know he's wearing this awesome vest. At first, I thought this was made of comic book skins, and I'm like, oh, no, it's just a vest. I thought he chopped up comic books. <laughs> I would like to thank my mother-in-law, Pat. I love you. She also did my curtain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, so any last notes that you could give people for the, for the Joe Kubert School or out there drawing that are our artists that are trying? Because I know that the digital age has taken over the print age, but I know there's so many people out there, even members of my team, that are great artists, and I love watching people great, and they're like, no one's going to buy my work because it's on paper. And I'm like, really? Come on, guys. Uh, you know what? I What I would say to that, and you know, part of this comes from being an instructor for quite a few years and an art director, um, do what's true to you like if you're the type of artist or writer that does these weird little true life stories that yeah those comic books don't sell as well as batman or whatever and i'm I'm not slamming i love all this stuff but here's the deal as a creator as a writer do what's true to you like what do you like you know don't don't feel like you're gonna well Jim Lee makes a lot of money so I better draw Batman on a gargoyle and don't do that because it ain't gonna work you ain't gonna take Jim Lee's job okay Um, but as far as that kind of stuff goes as far as being a creator um, you got to do it constantly I mean you if you're an artist you should have a sketchbook attached to your hip with a big heavy chain to remind you you should be drawing stuff. Um, as a writer, uh, same thing. You know, you, you just got to keep doing it nonstop. Um, read. Uh, I've met a lot of younger people who are interested in doing comics that were only reading comics. Read everything. Uh, take every class, you know, and, and just keep plugging away. You can't. It's tough, guys, because when you first start trying to get work or when you first start, even if you don't want to do it as a professional, every once in a while you're going to have somebody come along and go, eh, I don't, that's, that sucks, you know? And you know what? 
A big part of what we do is getting that little bit of alligator skin to where it's like, I don't care what you say, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep hanging out with other creatives and getting away from people who are negative. That's how it happens, you know. I love it. Like, honestly, it's the truth, guys. Never give up on your dreams. Keep pushing forward because, honestly, you never know. Maybe one day you'll be sitting next to him going, oh, my God, Darren, I know you. I love your work. I'll bring pizza. <laughs> Apparently, bring, is, there, is there a type of pizza? No, I'm not choosy with free pizza, man. Jalapeno pizza, guys. Bring jalapeno. <laughs> I like that. But, Darren, I want to thank you so much for sitting down with us. It was a, sir, a privilege and an honor. Right. This guy is great. Some great stuff, guys. Check him out. You have social media, right? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I spend a lot of time on Facebook, even though I shouldn't. That's usually a good way to communicate with me. Um, yeah. Shoot me a message. Maybe we can do something. You look up Darren Ack. <laughs> well, yeah, A-U-C-K. You'll get him. We'll get we'll get one of them. We'll find one. Hey, are you Darren Ack? Who are you? Oh, not wrong guy. Next, are you Darren Ack? Who are you? Oh, wrong guy. Hi, Darren. Oh, hi, Justin. Woo! <laughs> so, this is Goliath, guys, signing off. I want to thank Darren one more time for so much for everything, for our childhood, for our dreams. Red and Stimpy, that you know, basically, Red and Stimpy caused this. Hey, don't blame me for your childhood, pal. <laughs> oh, I'm blaming you. I'm blaming the creator. But thank you so much, guys. Talk to you later. Goliath right, signing guys. out. Bye, guys. Go draw something.